And hello my good friends of YouTube. Well, today guys, I'll uh, show you the, uh, what I've done with this ZVS driver. I've basically put it into a box, an old power supply box, and uh, here it used to have the, the logo on and, you know, 10 to 12 amps I think it was at 12 volts. But there you go, look, what oh, I thought, 13.8 volts. It's not even focused in. It's going off there, but, uh, but yeah, I've got a that uh, ZVS driver in there can easily take a hundred amps, guys. I've got a server fan just in the back there, just to uh, keep that ZVS uh, heat sink nice and cool. Uh, there's four MOS. It's that one with the four MOSFETs on. Each MOSFET at uh, 50 amps, and there's two in parallel, so it's 100 amps quite easily. Uh, but of course, I won't ever run it up to that, but it could take that at uh, short intervals. But uh, I would say it would probably sit there quite happily at, uh, say, 40 amps quite easily. Um, I've had it quite close to there before, and uh, it does get warm, of course, starts to get warm, but uh, I've got that good old heat sink in the back of it, uh, good heat sink, and uh, Nice server fan. So this is the the side of it, which it comes out from there and into the block, and then from the block, then a little bit of extended wires there down to the capacitors and inductor and uh, the uh, little transformer just here with the primary and secondary which normally that would go on to a flyback as you know but uh, then that just goes into there I've got to show this working as well, that one working which is for uh, my friend John um, he's having this transformer, I've got, got to show him working without the capacitor in there <clears throat> so this is the heat sink I was telling you about guys in that unit with two IGBTs on. Today I've been back and got those off the other ones and this heat sink which is a hell of a lot bigger. Where's my tape measure? Tape measure, tape measure, tape measure. I'll give you a size actually guys. There we go, find me a bloody heat uh, tape measure. Oh god. Uh, this one. Oh, a bit bloody tired. off there. Right, that one I got the other day is 18 and a half inches long at 9 inches wide, just under 9 inches wide and deep, 3 inches deep. Now this, that one, which looks different, is nine actually it's just about the same width actually but it's 22 inches long 22 inches long damn <laughs> and deep oh deep it's a little bit deeper it is actually three and a half inches thicker I'll just like to show you on the other side actually, this side's very very clean compared to that one God, sorry guys <sighs> it's um it's a bit dull uh, I'll show you the other side of that one actually but I'll show you what these um, these RGBTs work at there's the side of it Let's see if I can tap it and focus it in Come on. God, it's bloody useless, this thing is. There we go. You're back. 400 amps at 1200 volts, guys, if I am not mistaken. I think it's 1200, I think it's 400 amps at 600 volts, but it'll take 1200, um, at 1200 volts at surges, very short surges. But yes. I've got two more to pick up with these. Focus. 
I've got two more to pick up of these and left one of these so I've got two of these to pick up and two of these to pick up this one is just a half bridge uh, this is a semicron and it's 75 it's 60 uh, 75 amps I think it's about 600 volts I'm not quite sure but it's SKM 75GB063D uh, semicron and I've got quite a few of these See if I can find out which one it was that I had. I think it was that one. I think that, that was the one, yeah, because it's actually different. Because, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm chucking them about. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to do everything with one hand. This was the other one which I got out, which has got the other side soldered. And this one's 100 amps because this is SKM 100 set GB 063D. <clears throat> so, oh god, this phone is crap. Uh, this is the uh, rectifier, I couldn't really remember then. This is a rectifier by Inksy. I must waste so much time trying to get this to focus in. Fuck is wrong with this stupid piece of shit. Finally! There you go, guys. Made in Germany. All the best stuff comes from Germany. Three phase in and three phase out. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not quite sure of the, uh, the current. That 160 could mean it's 160 amps at 1200 volts, but uh, it's certainly the biggest one I've got. And of course, then you've got this one as well, which is uh, IOR or IR, should I say? I'm not quite sure if it's IOR or IR. I can't remember. But this is made in Italy, and this is a three-phase. This could be 160 amps at 1200 volts. I've not used uh, looked at the um, data sheets on these yet. <clears throat> but yes. Oh god. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, each one of these heat sinks has cost me twenty pound each. Um, the actual RGBTs probably cost me a tenner for all of them, and the um, the uh, rectifiers as well. Uh, this one here is a water cooled, as you can see. It's probably something to do with um, injection moulding, but uh, you could most definitely quite easily fit RGBTs and a nice little rectifier all in the middle, just like that. Awesome. Quite easily. <clears throat> well that, I thought that one was quite long until I've seen this one. Let me pause it while I just move these out of the way and show you the side of it guys. There you go. Just look at the bloody size of it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> have not used that one for a while. But um, apart from these little bits of marks which will come off. God, look at that look what your finger does to it like, when you've got a little bit of dirt on your finger. But against my hand, so you can see that. Struggle to fit it in the bloody screen. It's absolutely huge. The amount of IGBTs you could get on this thing. You like, see where the two went there. Uh, some standoffs went there for the bus bars. I've got a few bus bars. Got a couple. The grey caps just there as well came off the units. I've got two, four, six of the grey ones. Um, the other four, I've got four of these white ones. 
which these ones are, I didn't get these today, I got these some other time. These are made in Italy at uh, 1200 volts at 1.5 UF at 10% tolerance. These ones, uh, 1250 volts at 3 UF microfarads at 28 amps each. I'm not quite sure these what amperage these are. These could be 28 amp as well. Because these were off IGBTs as well. But well, these actual units were um, uh, power controllers. You know, like a big UPS, should I say. Amazing, massive things. Really were, of course, if you've, you've seen them, so. But yeah, I'm quite happy with these bloody heat sinks. Right. <clears throat> Let me just quickly show you this working through this. And uh, that's. I just love that, what I've done with that uh, ZVS driver. It's awesome. Oh yeah, before I, I do start this, uh, showing you this one working, what I've made here, guys. Um, there's something I wanted to cover, which was uh, something I did quite some time ago. Um, it was when I actually did the, you know that controller there? When I made that and showed you that burning out a motor quite some time ago. And I said to you guys um, that I didn't want any adverts on my me, me channel because, you know, I didn't want the, the hassle of having to watch adverts and, uh, you know, wait to fast forward or whatever, like five seconds, depending on the things coming up on the screen. Um, <clears throat> I thought I might as well have the adverts uh, because I, I get a little bit back from it. Um, of course, I, I do get uh, quite a bit back by friends of, uh, of YouTube, you know, good friends I've made over the, over the years that I've been doing it. And, you know, it's, it's just nice to get just a little bit back. It only gets probably £30 or something a month. But £30 a month adds up and it just helps me to go to the stockyard more and buy uh, a few extra bits and bobs. Uh, as you know, I uh, I don't really work. I, I work from home. Little bits and bobs that I do with uh, repairing stuff and and other stuff. What I get up to, but I can't do very much because of my ankle. I can't. Just, I can stand on it for probably not very long. Put it that way. Once I've done a, a, a video at the scrapyard, I'm ready to go home and put my feet up. That's how bad it's getting. I'm getting bloody pains in the knees in my hips, in my right, I wake up in the, in the morning and flipping foot's like a, clo uh, a crow's bloody claw. Honestly, it's, it's just nasty. It's all, this is all start, started up because I've had the crushed. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you about that and bloody details right now. Um, but yeah, I've had the, uh, the adverts on guys because it just gives me a little bit back. So I, I do apologise by saying in that last video, <coughs> But uh, I wasn't going to have the adverts, it's just all going to be high voltage videos and stuff. I'm a boring you, sorry. Let's get back to the action. So, <clears throat> that's reading zero. I have to turn the fan up because the fan's actual action blowing down the arc gives it such a beautiful thing to look at. Let's make sure that that's not touching. I hope I won't run out of video. Shit, 13 minutes. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's windy. <clears throat> the blue effect. Not had the blue effect for ages, have we? That's so cool! <laughs> oh, LEDs, they're amazing. <clears throat> Let's see how bad we can get this thing then. If it runs out of video, I'm gonna have to do all this breathing thing again. Oh, hold on. Have I come off somewhere? I've come off, look. There we go. Oh, I forgot to say, it's going to be loud. Watch your volumes. I am so sorry.
Jesus. I want no face. <laughs> How insane was that? Right, let me quickly show that then working for John. One second, guys. Right, here we go. We're all set up. If the uh, wind is blowing in, you know, a bit of breeze is coming from that fan, guys. I do apologise. It's just so bloody warm in this garage because it's quite warm at the moment. Oh, it's so nice. So, right, we're all set up here. Uh, John, uh, uh, sorry, not John. Why do I keep calling him John? It's not John. It's bloody Tom. <laughs> I'm thinking of bloody John, bloody um, explosive garden. Sorry, guys, to get you guys mixed up. It's because I've not long been talking to uh, to my friend John, uh, explosive garden. Uh, yeah, it's sorry, guys. I've got that much going in my head. Right, Tom. Here you go, mate. Here's your transformer. Tom, sorry for uh, you thinking. Hey, am I going to transformer here? <laughs> right. Let me show you this working now, Tom. There we go, right, this is uh, 49 kV. Without no capacitor, you should get some lovely arcs in there. Right, let's try it without the wind blowing down on it. One sec. Right, wind off. Let's try it. Pulling nine amps at around. I'm trying to think what it is. Oh, it's 37 volts. There you go. It's very hot. Fifty volts. Jesus. It's pretty hot that arc is. So there you go. <clears throat> so, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, sorry to get you two guys' uh, names mixed up. Brains are like really 